other really cool thing about this is you can add shapes to your custom uh, shapes uh, palette. And uh, for instance, when I work on things uh, such as the Talos Democrat ads, I was constantly um, pulling the Democrat logo, which was an Illustrator graphic, into Photoshop and then uh, uh, manipulating it there. Well, you can bring it into this palette right here and leave it there permanently and um, it's like having an image in a library and it's there all the time. How do we do that? It has to be uh, turned into a path and then we can add paths to um, this group of images. So I'm jumping over to Illustrator. I've already set this up and I have a logo here. Um, let's call it a logo. I made it very simple of course and I'm going to copy it. Um, Command C or Control C on the PC. I selected it. I could of course gone you know copy up here alright and then I go to um, Photoshop and I'm going to create a, um, a new layer for my logo which I have here and I have to paste Command V or again edit paste and here's the important thing um, you know you can drag and drop images be between Illustrator and Photoshop but you won't get this dialog box so when you copy and paste um, you get this and here um, we'll come back and talk about some of these at a later time but here one of them is I can make it a path and so this will be put into the paths palette over here automatically so I'll say okay and there's my my graphic okay let's see here you can see there it is I'll go ahead and I'll save it as I mentioned earlier I'll save the path and I'll just call it my logo and I'll say okay so it's permanently there now that it is there, now that it is there and it's activated, I can, I can go up here and in my options button, I can say, let's see here, I can tell it I want to add a custom shape, okay? Define custom shape. I'm sorry, I was thinking it was in the, the dialog box there with the others, but here it is. Define custom shape. And so here I can pick the shape. I can call it my whatever I want to call it. I say OK, and now look. That little thing is right here, and I can bring it up and drop it in place at any time and then fill it and uh, work it. It is a great little tool and a great little feature. You have to copy and paste so that you get the dialog box that says that you can save it as a path. And by doing that, um, you can either just leave it as a path that you can turn on and activate or you can come up here under edit and say define the, the custom shape as a path and it will um, save it right, right in there with the others and I can call it upon it at any time. Here I'll throw this away but it's not gone because it's right here and here it is. Boom. There it is. I come over here hold my shift key so I don't distort it and I can drop it on the page as often as I would like. And that's a pretty amazing sort of thing. Um, and uh, before also when it was a path at any time I can turn it into a selection and then I would be able to to fill it uh, with some color let's say. And there is my logo. And um, I could then apply some of my uh, some of my other effects here. 
Okay. And uh, I can do a drop shadow on it. And then I can uh, bevel and emboss it. And uh, that sort of thing. But all that is made possible because, in fact, I brought it in as a path that could be activated and um, or brought it in um, to the custom shapes and uh, gives me great flexibility and it's a great, great tool.